All right, quick update on the combine. Uh, previous video, I talked about how I'm running a 1020 case uh, flex header on this for soybeans, and this is a 1460, so it never had um, the controls for your hydraulic fore and aft on your reel, which uh, most 1020s had. There was an option, you could put a manual adjustment on it, but mine does have the hydraulic setup, and for the money, I figured, well, might as well make the combine fit. I've read forum articles about people have done this, so I decided to give it a try. Pretty happy with how it turned out. So we have our, this is a Fosse uh, selector valve. Got it from Shoops. Um, what we did is up here, you can see those these two new lines go to the um, original unloader auger valve for the swing. Here's the tubing up there that runs up to the hydraulic cylinder. So the in, incoming side comes on the top of the valve and then on um, position one, those two lines there will go to the unloader valve or unloader swing arm, loader auger I should say. And then on position two, we've got a couple quick connects that we're gonna plumb up with hoses that'll go to the header. So had to drill a couple holes to mount it. You can see there a couple bolts, 516 bolts fit right through there. Um, I think I got most of the adapters from Surplus Center, the hoses and adapters, I think I got from Surplus Center and uh, maybe discount hydraulic hoses or something like that um, with the uh, 37 degree flare ends. I don't like really run into a local farm supply store because most of those hoses are just pipe thread and then you got to run up extra adapters and it's just extra places for leaks. So this, as you can see here, we got female pipe and then a couple, you know, male to male pipe adapter and then these are pipe, but everything else is pretty much flare and O-ring boss. So we got our wiring ran up into the cab and then up in the cab. I'll show you that in a minute when I get to to figure out which one was which, but so it's like the right side does our unload auger. And I don't know if you can see through the window. I might have to give it a little bit of throttle. There's probably some air in the hydraulics. There she goes. And back in. So we got our hoses right. Well, that's good. So, there we go. Right, we'll check for leaks quick. Well, Brad's tightened a couple hoses, so I made another mess. But, we got them all tightened up, and it's better now. The motor auger works great. And uh, I also had to rebuild this filter housing because the O-rings were leaking in there, and it made a mess. So I probably lost like three gallons of oil in this thing over the winter just sitting. It was that bad, so. That seems to be better now. And I think we're ready to put the tin back on the side. There's our quick connects. So, still using the factory switch there. We can leave that on or shut it off or done. So, it ain't pulling power. There we go.